Shifting our focus now, African leaders are in Ukraine on a peace mission as they hope to mediate the conflict between Ukraine and Russia. But the arrival of their uh, in Kiev was marked with two explosions in the capital city of Ukraine. According to media reports, there was a smoke trail of two missiles in the sky above the capital. Ukraine's air force says that it has downed six Kinzhal ballistic missiles, six cruise missiles and two drones. The peace delegation includes leaders from South Africa, Senegal, Zambia, the Comoros and Egypt. Later today, they are also expected to hold a meeting with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. On Saturday, they will hold talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin as well. Now, as their first stop in Ukraine, the African leaders visited the town of Bucha. Ukraine accuses Russia of carrying out executions, rapes and torture. most of which are war crimes, of course. However, Russia has denied all these allegations. Meanwhile, in Russia, Putin met the president of United Arab Emirates. The powerful economy in West Asia has maintained a neutral position on the conflict that is ongoing in Ukraine as we speak. Putin has also thanked the president for his efforts on freeing prisoners of war in Ukraine. Now, on the battlefield, Russian Defense Ministry has announced a new reward for its troops. As it says that troops who have destroyed German-made leopard tanks and U.S.-supplied armored vehicles will receive bonus payments. Since the conflict started, more than 10,000 Russian servicemen have received individual bonuses.